Hello, it's time for another episode of Discipleship Today. My name is Bob Benson. I pastor Christ Lutheran Church in Bemis Point. We've been working our way through these commands, these general commands that Jesus gave to his followers while he was here on this earth. Uh, and he commanded us to do these things as we, as we uh, impact our world today, as we live out our lives. Today is command number 43. It says, we must be born again. Jesus said this, and this is John 3, 5 through 7, and I'm going to read it in the English Standard Version. Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. I know that there are some Christians out there that don't like the term born again, but when Jesus says you must be born again, that's what he means. He means you must be born again. I don't care if you don't like the term or not. It's a term that Jesus Christ himself used. We must be born again. And and people get confused about this section of scripture. Uh, they talk about the differences between being born of the flesh and being born of the spirit. Uh, do not marvel that I said to you that you must be born again. <laughs> and this is the question that uh, Nicodemus had. He says, how can I be born again? Do I have to climb back into my mother's womb? <laughs> he says, hold it, you're thinking about this all wrong. Let me, let me straighten this thinking out. When you're born of flesh, you must be born of flesh. That's that first birth. But then you have to be reborn in the spirit. Born in the spirit. Um, it, it goes on to talk about water and talk about uh, being born of the spirit. Uh, being born of water is that natural birth, that first birth. Being born of the spirit is that second birth. We all need that second birth. We all need to be born again. We all need to be overwhelmed by the Holy Spirit, drawn into this relationship, and then live it out. Of water and the Spirit, it's a twofold explanation of that new birth. He's talking to Nicodemus, this Jewish <laughs> a leader, so familiar with the symbolic application of water in a variety of many ways in the Jewish uh, culture. That symbolic cleansing again, it's this rebirth, this purification is what he's talking about here. When we're born of the Spirit, we are purified by that Spirit entering us and then living in us. And that's what we need. We must be born again. There has to be this, this point when you realize that you're a sinner and that you need a Savior and that you cry out to Jesus Christ to save you from your sins. Uh, I know it comes way down the list at number 43, but that's one of the first things that we need. We need to be born again. We need to be born of the Spirit. So I'm going to encourage you, if you're not sure that you've ever done that, please grab a hold of somebody near you. Talk to your pastor. Talk to somebody that you know has a new life in Jesus Christ and, and sit down and talk with them. We are assured in 1 John that we have a no-so faith. We can know that we have been born again. So I would encourage you to do that today.